Hi, Fight Ren here with AllThingsProduction.com. There have been some major changes in the music industry about how we measure uh, and meter our mixes. And I think it's pretty important that um, everybody kind of starts thinking about um, at least starting to meter their mixes so they fall into the right place. One of the main reasons is that the streaming services are not measuring peaks or RMS anymore, but they're actually measuring LUFs, loudness units full scale. And um, that is a scale, right? So uh, there are standards for that scale that I will talk about uh, just in a couple of minutes. But what we have to realize is what is exactly happening and why it's happening is because the streaming services measuring these LUFs are uh, setting a standard that is going to make mixes that are compressed or mastered too loudly, uh, they're going to pull them down to that loudness meter. So if you're mixing too hot or you're mastering too hot, your things or your songs will actually play back lower in those services because they're being pulled down to that LUFS. So I want to give you a quick example and as you guys can see here I'm on iTunes and I just pulled up Roulette of course because of copyright uh, issues I can't actually play the song but what I did was I have it up here and I'm going to start uh, play and I'm going to turn the analyzer on just to show you guys what's happening here now just to understand here integrated really the measurement of integrated loudness can only be truly achieved by playing an entire song from beginning to end but we do see momentary and we do see short term short term um, in a recent conversation with the genius uh, master engineer uh, Bob Katz, um, the important number to really look at is the PLR, um, the distance between our peak and our uh, loudness. And right now that range is eight and a half. Um, maybe let's reset it for a second and let's see what happens. And you guys can see uh, integrated is starting to build and it builds over time. It finds the complete average and you can see that uh, the PLR is also maybe just a little lower now than it was because we're not playing the whole song. So it's going to average out over the time of this. Um, we see that our peak is almost at, uh, our true peak is a little bit under. Um, and actually it says it's over by that much. So by plus one almost, right? So um, one thing uh, that we might want to do is check our preset and make sure that we are in EBU R128. And by the way, this plugin is from uh, Melda Productions. Uh, it's a free metering plugin that I can highly recommend for everybody. It's a must have that you got to run your mixes through. So you guys can see this is mastered and the integrated loveness is uh, LUFs are about 15. It was a little higher a minute ago. It's actually starting to balance itself out around 15.7. Now there's a very, very important thing about this is why are they going for this number? Well, if we look at things like Apple Radio, YouTube, um, Spotify, they are all measuring these LUFs and they will pull it down to a certain or up to a certain level, which is, uh, I think, Spotify 14, minus 14 and a half or 14 and a half LUFs um, and minus 16. Uh, there's a 16.5, 15.5. So it's right around that 16 to 14 range, right? So with the 15.7, they are right in the ballpark to be as loud on Apple as they possibly can. So... Um, what would be a good LUFS level for you uh, when you're mixing and not mastering yet? Well, if we think um, that you don't want to really have uh, too much limiting on your mix, then your LUFS in the mix should almost be right there. But I would say keep your PLR at, at 10 to 12. Then you're only going to need another one or two dB of limiting to get to that LUFS and this is a great time for mixing and mastering because we're not, we don't have to squish things anymore to be super loud and more dynamic range is going to give us a much more precise sound and much better reproduction of what the mix engineer and the producer had in mind and it's much more pleasant for our ears all that squish stuff really doesn't sound that great so keep in mind uh, Melda M Loudness Analyzer, put it on your master meter and uh, 
play your entire song and check out your integrated. If you're around 18 for your mix, um, then it will be really easy to get to 16 or 15 with a little bit more compression and limitation on your mastering chain. All right, I hope this helped a little bit with Luffs. I know I didn't get uh, too deep into the EBUs and uh, and the presets and, uh, and and all these different standards that are out there. But just know if you're going to use this, you have to use the Luffs EBU R128 standard. Uh, that's what they all use. And um, uh, that's a certain uh, measurement in that uh, Luffs scale. All right, have a great day. All Things Production, if you have a question, post it. <laughs>